hello and welcome guys this tutorial is about how to make the network address the broadcast address the first and the last usable host addresses from a given IP address and a subnet mask so let's take our IP address is 220.36.24 2 and let's assume our subnet mask is 255 255 255 and 240 so if we turn the IP address into binary form the 220 is going to be 1101100 dot 36 is zero zero one zero 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 one zero sorry and then we have twenty four zero one one and then we have two okay so this is our IP address and now we have to turn the subnet mask into our binary form so that we can calculate what we need so the subnet mask says that the first three uptake is 255 that means all the eight bits of that uptake is one so let's do that okay the first three uptake is done because it's the same and the last octave says it's 240 so if we turn 240 into binary we get 1111 and then 40 okay so this is the actual subnet mask that the machine reads and this is the actual IP address that the machine reads how it actually works is it does apply a and operation to each bit that means the first bit to its first bit the second bit to its second bit and if we do that we'll get the actual network address and actually by applying the and operation this is how the computer actually gets what its network address is so let's do the same so this is going to be like this Actually, whenever we have two ones, sorry, we have to just make it one. Oops, okay, it's okay. okay so this is what we got so this is our network address so you can easily do this by determining that how much bit the subnet mask actually indicates so here the subnet mask actually says that the first uh, 24 then 28 bit the first 28 bit is enabled and then the last 4 bit is disabled so this actually says that you have the first 28 bits for the network and the last four bit will be varying for your local addresses okay now this is our network address so turn this into the decimal form so that we can actually read it and it will make sense to us so this is going to be 220 as it's all the same you can see it it's all the same and 36 and 24 and last octave is changed because it's all turned to zero so this is going to be zero sorry so this is our network address okay now it's time 
for the broadcast address. What are you going to do is to take the network address and turn the last four bits. That means the bits that is using for our local addressing. We'll turn this into one. Sorry. Okay. By doing this, we got our broadcast address. So let's just translate it. So we're going to 20 as the same, the 36, then the 24. And then we have four zeros and four ones. So this is actually 15. Oh, sorry here this is going to be 15 so this is our broadcast address and now it's time for the first and the last network address so. okay now the thing to remember that our first network address is just one greater than the network address and the last network address is just one smaller than the broadcast address so the first network address is going to be 220.36.24.15 plus 1 so 1 and And our last network address is going to be 220.36.24.1 less than 15. So it's 14. Okay, guys, so there's another form of question that you'll often face in the exam and that is to determine all the same things the first last host the network address the broadcast address but with the ip and the prefix mask so actually the prefix mask and the subnet mask is actually all the same they just give you that up to which bit you should consider as the network and the latter part will be as the local so if we say 12 as the prefix mask it just means that the first 12 bit is enabled and the later bits are disabled so just do it just so this 12 bit is enabled and the later bits are zeros. So prefix mask actually just says that the uh, subnet mask is this. First 12 bits 1 and the later bits are 0. Now what does the IP say? the 172 means 0 oh sorry 1010110 and 16 says <coughs> this 70 means 0 1 0, zero. And then it's 48, sorry, 48. This is 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is our IP address turned into binary, and this is the actual subnet mask. So here, exactly the same, just we have to do the end operation, but 
to be simpler and to save the time we can just take that we shouldn't change the first 12 bits which is our prefix mask or you can say the subnet mask we shouldn't change this so we should just keep this all the same okay this is the 12 bits and to determine the network address we are just going to make all the rest of the bits as zero we don't have to think about what's in the IP just turn all the bits that are remaining into zero now remember when we gonna when we gonna uh, break down the IPs and the subnet mask whatever we can break it in between the octets but as we're doing here we, we broke it right here in between the octets on the fourth bit but when we're gonna turn it into the decimal form we're going to take all the octet as a whole so we shouldn't just think that this is one because we we started breaking down at this point we we'll just take this whole eight bits and just think that this is the one two four eight sixteen thirty two forty six one twenty eight so this type of form okay so I'll just convert it so our first octet is it is totally okay it's not changed so it's 172 then uh, we okay the technically the second octet is also not changed because we didn't change the first 12 bits and it only has the one in the 12 bit so this is also the 16 and so this octets are changed so these are all turned into zeros so just zero dot zero so this is our network address okay so now it's time for the broadcast address so just like before we are going to turn all the bits after this 12th bit into 1 so this sorry this bits are going to turn into 1 so let's start okay so this is the actual broadcast address that's machine reads or machine uses but we're going to write it in decimal form and that's going to be 172 because the first octet is totally totally intact it's not changed and then it's going to be let me calculate so it's five ones going to be 31 and then all ones in all the 8 bits so it's going to be 255 and again 255 this is going to broadcast address and then the network uh, sorry the first usable host address again I'm doing the same mistake first host is actually Actually, just like the before, one plus the network address. So it's one seventy two dot sixteen dot zero dot one. The last host address is just one greater than the broadcast address, just like before. So it's one seventy two dot thirty one dot two five five dot two five four. Oh, there's something else that often has to be answered that is you're suppose you're given the IP the prefix marks or the subnet mask whatever then you have to answer what's the maximum number of the host address that this network can contain so 2 to the power sorry just 32 minus whatever the prefix mask is and then minus 2 because we have 32 bits but our prefix mask or subnet mask is 
reducing that to this amount so we are going to subtract this and then again our network address taking one place and our broadcast address is taking another one so from the total capacity we were not getting these two addresses so the total range of the host addresses is going to be two less than the whole capacity so in this case to be 10 4 8 5 5 7 and 4 so this is the number of hosts that this network can contain so this is on another common type of question okay let me simulate another take that we have the 24 bits in the subnet mask so sorry so this is actually going to be the 254 actually we have the 8 bits remaining so 8 bits actually says that it's 256 but we have this one IP and the another IP taken away from us so all we left is 254 now guys this was my first attempt ever to make a video tutorial so I need your valuable comments that how did I do and also let me know if I made any mistakes and thanks for watching.